once you re-enter into the JCPOA and you lift the most biting of the sanction, um, and you probably take away 80% of all the sanction, what is the impetus for Iran to go any further? Um, you know, they've gotten compliance for compliance. And once you start releasing all these bank accounts, pallets of cash, um, you know, there's very little incentive left for Iran to engage on these issues. And yet, um, you know, we may live with some of the consequences of that, but all of our allies in the region, our partners, our friends, Israel, Saudi Arabia, and the Arab Emirates, Bahrain, uh, and the list goes on, uh, are the ones who will suffer from Iran having all this additional money to double down on the funding of their destabilizing terrorist militia throughout the region. So um, I don't think they've got a plan for it. We heard from the Biden administration that they want to do follow-on discussions. Uh, the Iranians said, um, we're not interested. So um, I think we're going to end up you know, where we ended up before. And if we lift more sanctions and we can't re-implement them for other reasons, like Iran supporting terrorist organizations, um, then uh, we're in a very bad place and we've lost leverage. 